Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning some filmmaking and learning you good. And today, I'm following up our little Justice League effect with a quick tip thanks to this request. Space Wave Films shouted, Fun tutorial! Fun tutorial! I know it seems more like random shouting, but hey, at least it's not this. Now guys, stay tuned to the end of the show, because I'll be announcing the winners of the Animation Composer 2 competition. So in order to complete this effect, well, title, you know what I mean, you need to download the font in the description called Lead Gothic, as well as this little star. Oh, and one more thing. Now guys, you may have noticed if you did a Google search on, say, Justice League font, nothing really comes up. So instead of just sitting on my ass and doing nothing, I thought, why don't I just make the font myself? So I went to Fontstruct and did it myself. So guys, make sure you head down to the description and download the JLFL font for yourself. Once you've got all that, let's get to work. Okay guys, here we are in After Effects and this is what we're gonna be creating today. As you can see, I've already imported the star from the download pack, so let's just jump into it. I'm gonna head up, add a new composition, let's say six seconds, 1920 by 1080, and we'll just name it title. Now you can see over in the character presets, I've already got League Gothic installed, and we're just gonna scroll up until we find JLFL font. That's the font that I've made for this tutorial. Now, as you can see here, I've got the font size set at 332. I've set the leading to 204 pixels and the range to minus 65. And if we head over here, you can see the stroke set to four pixels. So now all I'm gonna do is grab the text tool, head over, holding the shift key, we're gonna type justice. There we go. Once that's done, we'll just move that into the center. Nice and neat like. Now, if we just check out a quick comparison, you can see that it looks pretty damn similar. So from there, I'm just gonna hit Control D to duplicate that Justice layer, then drag it below our original title layer. From there, we're gonna hit P, and then we'll just reposition it underneath our Justice layer. Next step, double click on the layer, and holding the Shift key, type LE. Now, let's line that up with our first two letters above. We'll then duplicate that layer, double click, and type GUE. Once again, repositioning it to match up with our Justice text above. So why don't we type the A, Grant? Well, let's duplicate our bottom layer, hold shift and type the letter A, and I'll show you. As you can see, the A I made in Fontstruct doesn't exactly match the A in our original Justice League title. And as hard as I tried, and as hard as I tried, I couldn't get it any better than that. So here's our workaround. Let's highlight that A, head over to our font menu, scroll down and find League Gothic. And while we're there, let's remove the strokes on this layer as it's thick enough. From there, it's just a matter of clicking off that layer, heading up, grabbing our selection tool, selecting it, and just stretching the height and width until it lines up with the other text on screen. You might have to fiddle around zooming in and out just to get it just right, but it's worth it. Now if we jump back and forth between our text and the original logo, it's looking pretty, pretty good. Well, apart from that missing star, so let's grab that from the project window and throw it in. Hit S and let's scale it down to say 36% and move it into place. Maybe a little smaller. 25%. Ooh, now that's better. One last cherry on top. You may notice guys that these edges are quite sharp compared to our original logo. So how do we fix that? Easy. Head up, grab a new adjustment layer and let's drop it below our star. And then let's head over to the preset menu and type roughen edges. And we'll drop that on. And you might say to yourself, roughen edges? That just makes things all rough. But it doesn't just do that. If we head to edge type and set it to cut, head down to fractal influence and remove that completely, you can see it's actually rounded the edges of our text quite nicely. Only problem is it's smoothed them out a little too much. So let's fix that. Let's bump that edge sharpness up to five Bring the scale down to 20, and you can now see we have our smooth edges, but it's a little more subtle. So if we do one last comparison, you can see we pretty much nailed it. And hey, if you want to animate it, that's just as easy. Just highlight all the layers with Control A, right click, and let's pre-compose them. And we'll move all attributes into the new comp and click OK. And all we're gonna do is hit S to bring up scale, hit that stopwatch, head to the end of the comp, and crank it up to 110. If we check out a quick preview, that, my friends, is our Justice League title done. Add up all of those steps and you'll have yourself a sweet Justice league -y title, like this. So guys, that's building a custom Justice League title from scratch. 
Pretty easy considering that last Justice League episode. Am I right? My God. Now, on to the winners of the Animation Composer 2 competition. I gotta say, we did have some awesome entries, but I was a little bummed when I opened the competition email and out of the over 43,000 of you, less than 30 of you entered. But what are you gonna do, eh? So on to our third place winner. Not only did he use the Comic Sans MS font, which is hilarious, but he also made me laugh out loud when I saw it. I present to you our third place winner, TJ Stevens. <laughs> My God. Our second place winner, yet again, made me laugh. And that's all it really took. Ghostface takes home the second prize with his pimpin' entry. Keep learning. Okay gang, time for our first place. This was really a hard one because frankly, you guys put a lot of effort into these title sequences. But one stood out from the pack and the winner of the Animation Composer 2 competition is Ripstar. Congratulations guys, you all did excellent work and I'll be in contact with you shortly to get those prizes out to you. And don't worry if you didn't get a prize because like I said when I announced the competition, every single person who entered will have their name and their title sequence featured on a future Film London episode. Until of course, we run out. But that's all I've got for you today guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. We have a new Film London coming out soon, as well as more vlogs. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and share it. If you're new here, we have this cool subscribe button right here as well as some social media crap up there. So until next time, keep learning.